My name is Martin Smart, I'm the National Training and Health and Safety Manager for Pertit UK. We're here today at the National Training Centre in the centre of Birmingham. This is where we conduct all of our internal training courses for our MSSTs, our admin support and our franchisees and centre managers. The technical training we deliver here at the Perth National Training Centre predominantly revolves around City and Guilds 234053 syllabus. It's a very hands-on and very intense programme that our technicians go through, but it's imperative that our technicians have all the skills required for the technical, but also the health and safety aspects of the role. Now, they are almost identical to BSP Taper. The course is a residential 10-day course where trainees from all around the country attend Birmingham for two weeks where they not only gather the intelligence and the qualifications that they require to be a mobile service and sales technician but also spend time with fellow technicians and start sharing and spreading ideas. Hi, my name is Darren Whitehead. I work for the Pertec Training Department here at Digbeth in Birmingham. The core business here is uh, induction training. It's one of the most important courses that we uh, offer. We encompass 13 modules of City and Guilds training working to a City and Guilds award. Our induction training programme lasts for 10 days and it is a residential course. The first week primarily concentrates on uh, classroom-based training. Obviously we do have the City and Guilds exams and an element of practical training exists there. The second week is where we focus on workshop skills. They're taught some basic skills on how to use a workshop lathe. Above all anything else they're told how to use it safely. Uh, they're taught about brazing and silver soldering techniques, the use of the Caterpillar press using the Caterpillar's reusable uh, end systems that they have in place. And we do a few what we call hydraulic hose replacement simulations, albeit in a controlled uh, training environment, but it gives them a true taste of what the job entails basically. They have to do two examinations while they're here on induction. One of them is a practical examination and one is a two and a quarter hour written exam. The award is not issued until we've conducted an assessment uh, in approximately three months after the trainees have uh, finished their induction training. The exams are great in the training centre but we need to make sure that they can do the job out there in the field. So it's a really realistic um, assessment where we sit with them in the van and assess their ability to carry out their role, uh, looking at uh, health and safety standards, their ability to manufacture the hoses, remove and replace and also deal with customers effectively. Really, really important health and safety. We're really passionate about it here because to the untrained individual, hydraulic hose replacement can be very, very dangerous. Due to the nature of the job, being mobile, they're exposed to various different machinery. They're exposed to different sites. So the workplace is constantly changing. So they need to be trained effectively to deal with various sites like quarry safety, food processing, scrap yards, these kind of areas. Uh, also key uh, actions that they'll be undertaking like working at height for example. There are high pressure system failures which can cause the uh, sudden loss of a suspended load for example. Slips, trips and falls we deal with on a daily basis that's why we use our oil absorbent products uh, not just because of environmental responsibility but we also use them as a, a control measure for health and safety. Before every single job's conducted the engineers are trained to conduct a risk assessment and we use a health and safety technical manual to help them do that. Guys have got in the van here, MSST health and safety documents. Contains 36 generic risk assessments ranging from working on certain sites and certain scenarios. So just to give you an example, the most obvious one that they're all really familiar with is the removal and replacement of hydraulic hoses. And it goes into great detail, even things like working on a dockside or near water. So obviously in the middle of Birmingham, you're not going to be near a dockside, but uh, the guys in Liverpool need that. Uh, so we've tried to think of everything. We also have the ability to carry out a site-specific risk assessment if the customer needs us to do that and we think that's really important to be able to have that ability to carry out that kind of risk assessment as well. In addition to the technical training that's delivered on induction, we also deliver refresher training for our technicians. This 
is delivered as what we call our foundation course, working safely with hose and connectors. We deliver this course as a refresher on technical knowledge, but also concentrating on additional health and safety training, predominantly revolving around hydraulic safety awareness and fluid injection injuries. When we're talking about fluid injections, we've also worked with the British Fluid Power Association to devise and develop a special handbook. This is designed for personnel to carry with them either on their possession or within their vehicles and take this to an NHS hospital should they suffer or receive a hydraulic oil injection. Pertec have also put together their own safety DVD. This surrounds hose inspection techniques and hydraulic fluid injections. You can get your copy from your local Pertec centre. It's a well-known fact the Pertec training is the best in our industry. Whenever a Pertec technician or any member of staff arrives at a centre, they can be happy in the knowledge that they will be attending regular technical and health and safety training within Pertec. All the Pertec team are trained to the very highest standards within our industry. <laughs>